Welcome to Comics on a Pyre, a channel to have a meaningful conversation over movies, life, books, and shows, and maybe just a spot to spend time BSing over comics. If you like your entertainment with a bit of substance, then you, my vagabond friend, have come to the right tavern. Tether your horse by the post and come right on in and warm yourself by the fire. Tap that subscribe button and for the next few minutes, my fellow George Carlin reprobate, lend me your ear. Characters have fast, super moving abilities, quick reflexes, a flurry of attacks, a lightning quick projectile to shoot from the, at their foes. Others, like Superman, have quick speed and complement to his other list of many superhuman abilities. But I thought that it would be an interesting thing to put together a list of fast running Marvel characters, characters that solely depend on their legs for speed. Well, it turns out that this list was longer than I initially thought. So, without further ado, let's just jump right in, in no particular order. The list I will call Faster Than the Speed of Light. To get an idea of just how many speeders the Marvel Universe has shown over the years, let's start with number one, Black Racer, aka Ariana Siddiqui. She was a member of the Serpent Squad, which first appeared in Marvel within the pages of Captain America issue 337. Black Racer, as the name suggests, runs at fast speeds. Exact limits of her abilities, though, are unknown. Second, we have Quicksilver, aka Pietro Django Maximoff. This, this mutant needs very little introduction. He has debuted in movies, cartoons, as well, obviously, as in comics. Having his first appearance, in fact, in the pages of the X-Men number four, way, way, way back in March of 1964. Quicksilver is known to run speeds of up to 175 miles per hour. His stamina is great, too, because he is able to keep up the speed for quite some time. Third, we have Slingshot, a.k.a. Yo-Yo Rodriguez. She first appeared in the Mighty Avengers 13, published in July of 2008. Her powers are a little bit different than just speeds, as it seems that Yo-Yo has the superhuman ability to run at speeds several times faster than a normal human being. After she uses her powers, though, she automatically returns to where she started from, hence the name Yo-Yo. Fourth on this list is Speed. Yep, that's it. One word, Speed. His real name, though, is Thomas Shepard, and she, he has what, been a member of the Young Avengers. In fact, first appearing in Young Avengers issue number 10, published in March of 2006. Speed can run, move, and react at speeds far greater than the average person. His top running velocity is 761 miles per hour, according to himself. Fifth down on this list is Speed Demon, a.k.a. James Sander. Now, being a longtime Spidey fan, I remember this guy from the Amazing Spider-Man series. In fact, his first appearance was in Amazing Spider-Man issue number 222, published in November of 1981. Speed Demon's primary superpower is the ability to run, move, and think at superhuman velocities. Speed Demon is able to run at speeds that are greater than that of sound, sufficient to allow him to run across water over a certain distance and allow him to run straight up walls. His speed has increased with new variant of the original form that has given him his original powers. Moving at such a high rate makes him appear as like he is a blur over short distances. Six on this list is 3D Man, aka Charles Chandler, who is an amalgamation of two characters. The idea for this guy is both kind of hokey and a genius at the same time. Let me explain. Now Charles was an American test pilot who was abducted by scrolls. When he was caught up in an explosion, he was engulfed in radiation as his brother Hal looked on. The explosion imprinted an image of Charles on Hal's eyeglasses, and through intense concentration, Hal can, can project Charles into existence as, you guessed it, 
the 3D man. Obviously, this character design for this hero was influenced by the cheap red and green 3D glasses we wore in movie theaters back in the day. See what I mean by both cool and kind of gimmicky? 3D Man first appeared in the Marvel premiere issue number 35, published in April of 1977. Seventh on this list is Blur, aka Jeffrey John Walters. Blur is a speedster that is unable to stop moving. Even when he is standing still, his body is in constant flux, vibrating somewhat. His foot speed has been measured up to 300 miles per hour. His first appearance was in DP7 issue number one, published in November of 1986. Now, if you never heard of DP7, don't feel bad because I have been reading comics for years and I've never even heard of this series. Apparently, DP7 stands for Displaced Paranormals and refers to the seven main characters of the series, Blur being one of them. The run lasted 32 issues before it was canceled, but Blur somehow found himself later in another team called the Squadron Supreme. But I will end Blur's segment here. Eighth on this list is WizKid. Her true alias is unknown though. There's not much information on this character because she has a relatively short lifespan in the Marvel Universe. First appearing in She-Hulk issue number 4 published in August of 2004. And apparently perishing just 5 years later in Avengers Initiative issue number 19 published in January of 2009. Though her life was cut short, she seemed to be one of the fastest speedsters on this list. Clocking at faster than a whopping 30,000 miles per hour. Fast enough to cover the United States within minutes. She was also regularly creating cyclones by running in circles. Number nine on this list maybe should be considered a little bit of a cheat because he is an elder of the universe. But I felt like throwing him in anyway. Gil Pardon, Pardon, also known as the runner. As the name suggests, Gil Pardon, I'm just going to call him Gil can run at amazing speeds. He has devoted much of his power of the primordial, primordial to build his speed. He can run, move, and think at incredible velocities. The upper limits of his speed isn't known, for he restrains himself to speeds well below his maximum. However, he has been known to run 10,000 miles per hour while on a planet with ease. It is believed that while in possession of the space gem, his speeds will increase, but as confirmed by Thanos, it occasionally allowed him to teleport to location before he himself even wanted to be there. I first became aware of the runner while reading Thanos Quest, a brief two-part story on how Thanos came into possession of the Infinity Gems. I even did a video about the series on my channel if you are interested in learning more. Anywho, the runner first appeared within the Marvel Universe within the pages of the Defenders, issue number 143, published in May of 1985. And now, for the number 10th on our list, Super Saber, aka Martin Fletcher. Now, being an X-Men fan, I have known of this feature for some time now. For the first time, he appeared in the pages of the Uncanny X-Men, issue number 215, published in March of 1987. He was formerly a member of Freedom Force and is a close friend of Crimson Commando and Stonewall, but mutants, both mutants as well. Fletcher can travel on foot at speeds faster than sound, approximately 761 miles per hour. He can run up along vertical surfaces and over water. By causing a circular draft, he can form a wind barrier, and by snapping his fingers together, he can project a localized sonic boom. Saber can create a supersonic punch by striking a foe with a small mass of air, a technique he likes to call Mach 1 Punch. So there you go, viewer. 10 Marvel Speedsters. Tell the truth now. Did you know them all? I sure didn't before compositing this list. If you like this video, then by all means, wander on over to my YouTube uh, comic book inspired channel, Comics on the Pyre, for other videos like this one. While there, make sure to like, tap the subscribe button and ring the bell before you go so you could be notified when the next video drops but until then in the interim as always keep reading my friends